the character that met um, Vespertine is uh, fictional and was this lady in uh, waiting, hibernating in uh, winter, slightly um, um, sort of a domestic creature that would um, prepare and um, uh, play instruments like harps and celestas and and uh, and uh, I first saw her like sitting on the top of a winter snowy hill with a lot of suitcases kind of waiting. I was very interested in uh, uh, trying to create uh, the same mood that you have when you are you have the patience to sit down and read a book. And for me, this was of course impossible. It's probably a combination of that when I did Homogenic, I wanted to do an outdoor nature extrovert album, and Vespertine was an indoor kind of internal introvert album. Um, also, maybe just the amount of traveling I had done in 15 years. So anything domestic became like, like um, a paradise, this kind of untouchable, um, perfect, beautiful thing. Um, um, I think also just on a pure sonic level, uh, being obsessed with a laptop and and uh, working with headphones, so all sounds that are quite quiet and indoors and, and wrapped up in boxes, I found them very, um, very exciting. Also on emotional level, uh, I was, um, for the first time in my life, very interested in, in uh, emotional peaks that were very, very quiet. 
because I guess I'm the sort of character that always was um, fascinated by very volcanic, explosive kind of emotional range and, and sharp peaks. The more is better. Um, suddenly, the complete opposite became very um, curious to me. When I did homogenic, um, it was all about boosting things up and be extra, extra, extra large and extra attention seeking. Um, we ended up finding uh, almost always one beat per song. So, so just one big beat, that's, that's all you need. And, and in Vespertine, it was sort of the opposite. You, you would have the tiniest beat in the world and then you couldn't stop there. You had to sort of make a, a microcosmos of, of 30 or 40 beats interacting. So I started collecting all noises that were um, um, tiny and, and uh, literally had a library. Um, was working with programmers and, and uh, we would just basically gather together lot of lot of sounds um, yeah and and found out after after a lot of uh, that the sort of the key to what we were looking for was taking something very 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 tiny and uh, and magnifying it up to big and it sort of gave you um, um, a sensation that you've been told a secret the same way as if you if you see a picture of a cell in the body, magnified very big, uh, you, you sort of, um, yeah, you get this feeling that you, you are being um, uh, trusted for some inside information. And um, I guess this whole album uh, is is very much like this. <laughs> 